waiter. Right there. Huh? Waiter. I am your waiter at your service, sir. Oh, good, Dad. I'd like a couple of poached eggs on toast, please. Yes, sir. Why do you wait to enjoy our decor? Okay, Tony. Two on a left. You know, I've had a lot of problems in this restaurant, but it's hard to imagine what could go wrong with two poached eggs on toast. Thanks, Tony. Don't you think it's time to get away from all that gunk on there? Okay. Here, sir. There you are, and that uh, looks yummy. Wait a minute. What's this? That is your order, sir. I ordered poached eggs on toast. Oh, why, uh, yes, sir. You see, but uh, well, yes, sit down. You see, uh, we were out of eggs, so I brought you poached corn instead. Poached corn? Of course, sir. After all, corn and eggs are practically the same thing. I didn't know that. Would you like me to explain? No. Oh, go with your flow, sir. Let me explain. Okay, get ready, Charlie. Explanation number 34 today. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, Rich. Okay, sir. As you may be aware, corn is a vegetable. You see? And corn grows on stalks. Like this. This is a corn stalk. All right. Be right there, sir. All I wanted was a couple of poached eggs. All right, now, as you may or may not know, sir, when the corn is ripe, they scrape it off the stock and <sighs> they turn it into chicken feed. Come, sir. Bear with me now. Ah, ah. Right, what happens next, sir, is that the chicken feed is fed to cute little chickens like this. Ah, there you go. Cute little chickens who lay cute little eggs like this right here. And there you have it. We start with corn, which becomes chicken feed, which chickens eat so they can grow big and strong, so they can lay cute little eggs like this. Yes, sir, from corn to eggs. And that is why when we were out of eggs, I brought you corn. Eat hearty. Waiter. Whoa, 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 yes, sir, is there something else I can do for you? Yes, there's something else you can do for me. You can get all this stuff out of here. You can take that egg there. You can poach it. You can bring it to me on a piece of toast. No, 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 I'm sorry, sir. I cannot do that. Why not? Because we are out of toast. I brought you the last one, and the chicken here just ate it. <laughs> sir? Sir? Mountain climbing is harder than I thought. Oh, hello, everybody. It is your old mountain climbing buddy, Grover. And today, I have climbed up here into the mountains where it is very high. Hugh. Very high, to show you what an echo is. Echo, echo is the word, the cute little word, echo. You see, sometimes in these big mountains here, you can shout things and hear the same thing repeated back at you a few seconds later. Believe me, trust me. I will show you. I will shout my name. Grover. Grover, how about that, HM? Did you hear the echo? I did too. Now, I will count slowly, and listen to the numbers echo back. One. One. Two. Two. What a terrific little echo. Three. Three, four, four, five, five. Oh, this is so much fun. Six, six, seven, seven. Can you believe this? Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Oh, wasn't that wonderful? Oh. Okay, that is enough there. Oh, okay, that is enough there. Alright, we've had our fun. Alright, we've had our fun. Come on, 
We can knock it off. Come on, we can knock it off. Oh, please stop it. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Ah, uh, taxi. Ah, uh, well, hello sir and welcome to Grover's Taxi. Oh no, it's you. Well yes, it is I, your furry, blue taxi driver. What can I do for you, sir? I want to go to the library. Oh, a very wise choice. The library is a wonderful place with books to read and you can listen to records like the air is alive with the sound of music. I know that. Let's go. And you know, you can take home books from the library too, if you bring them back, of course. I know. That's why I'm going there. Of course, you could also go to the zoo. I don't want to go to the zoo. Why? There are lions and tigers there, and the lions go roar. And do not forget the monkeys. They are so cute. They go ooh, 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 and you can buy a balloon there. I don't want to hear who, 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 who. I don't want a balloon. I want to go to the library. I am only trying to be helpful, sir. How about the museum? You know you can go there and look at the pictures of pretty flowers and the mummies and the daddies. Ha, ha, ha. I do not want to look at the mummies and the daddies. Hey, hey, watch it Harry. May I suggest a nice movie, perhaps The Sound of Music? The air is alive. I don't want to go to a movie. I don't want to go to the zoo. I don't want to go to the museum. I want you to drive me to the library. Gladly sir, if you do not mind waiting. Waiting? Waiting for what? Until I get my car fixed, it is broken. I can't wait till your car is fixed. I'm in a hurry. Oh, all right, sir. If you are going to be difficult. Hey, Harry, forget the garage. First go to the library. Do not worry, sir. We should be there in a few hours. Broom, broom. But broom, I'm in a hurry. Broom. Hey, what's going on? Oh, in that case, I shall call you a taxi. Taxi, taxi, got a library job. Taxi, they never stop when you need them. Have you ever noticed that? Taxi. Ah, what a beautiful day. I really should come here more often. It's much nicer to have lunch here in the park where there aren't any waiters. Oh, no. Ha ha. Yes, it is I, Grover. The very waiter I was hoping to get away from. Excuse me, sir. But I am not a waiter. Well, of course. You are. You waited on me hundreds of times. No, but today is my day off. And on my day off, I am a writer and singer of songs. Of all the benches in all the parks in the world, I had to pick this one. I love making music. And I love singing. And I love to find words that sound the same, words that rhyme. Sir, would you care to make a request? I certainly would. Oh, oh, good. Go away. Let me have my lunch. H.M. Well, that is two requests actually but I will be glad to oblige. Go away, take take a ride, take a walk. Do not stay, I have no time to talk. Yesterday I could pause for some fun. But today I must ask you to run. You are right. That is enough of go away. And now, a little tune I'd like to call, let me have my lunch. Oh, this is the vamp. I love this part. Or you can tap your foot if you would like. Let me have my lunch. Yes, I'm eager for a bite. Let me have my lunch. Because it's such a pretty sight. There you go, sir. Two beautiful songs with many cute rhymes, like away and play and stay, and bite in sight, yes. And then there was walk and talk, and far and car, and scram. Yes, yes, yes. That's just swell. Swell, indeed. In fact, 
All that rhyming has made me quite hungry for my lunch. Oh, take mine. Oh, that is very kind of you, sir. But what about your lunch? Oh, I was thinking of that restaurant where you work. Oh, but, sir, I will not be there. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Wait, sir. I shall play for you while you eat. Hello. In the next 15 seconds, Grover will say a word that begins with the letter S. I will? Yes. Oh. Good luck. And start the clock. This is tough. Uh, I'm not kicking is driving me crazy. I wish you would stop. Hey, stop. Stop begins with the letter S O. I am so smart. Smart. Smart begins with the letter S. And so does sandwich. And somersault. And Switzerland. And Studebaker. And. Excuse me? Grover? Yeah. Well, you don't have to say any more words that begin with the letter S. The clock has stopped. I am not doing it for the clock. I find this very satisfying. Aha. Uh -huh. And scintillating. And, um, Saskatchewan. Sarsaparilla. In the next 15 seconds, Grover and Rosita will tell you about love. 15 seconds? No, 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 no. Love is very hard to describe. I mean, love is too big, too vast, too endless. Love, love is a complicated emotion, and I do not function well under pressure. Grover, I love you. Oh, I guess this must be love. Not so tight, Rosita. Breathing is important to me. Hey. Hello, everybody. This is your old pal, Grover. And today, I want to talk to you about front and back, the difference between front and back. Yeah, yeah. Now, you can see that this is my front. How can you tell? Well, I will tell you. You see, you can now see my eyes, my beautiful eyes, and my handsome nose, and a, wait a minute. That is not my front. That is my back. I do not want to talk about my back. It's a nice back. But I do not want to talk about it. I want to talk about my front. So there, okay. Now, we talk about my front. It is still my front because you can see my great big mouth and, a. Hey, that is my back again. I do not want to talk about my back. There, my front. Now, my, my back. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Okay. There. Front. Back. Back. Okay, okay. We talk about the back then. All right. Now, you can tell that this is my back because I do not have any eyes or nose or mouth here you see. My front. Okay. We talk about my front again. Hello, front. Back. No my front I want to talk about. Now, my front. My back. No, front. My front is a nice. No, wait a minute. Okay, my front, here, there's my front. No, my front, my front, not my back. My back? Okay, my back. My back is, no, my back. My back. No. Hold it. My front, my front. No, hold it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold it. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. No. Okay. I am finished talking about front and back. Now, I will only talk about tired. Ugh. Ah, nothing like a relaxing day. Ah, nothing like day a relaxing day in the park. V here. Get your letter V. Oh no. Why hello there, sir. You look like a gentleman in need of the letter V. No. I can assure you I do not need a letter V. Oh, well then perhaps I can interest you in something that begins with the letter V like this V, V, violin. I'm just trying to relax in the park. I don't need a violin. 
then perhaps you would enjoy some healthy V, V, vegetables. I'm not in the mood for any vegetables either. Okay, but I'm sure you will enjoy this lovely V, vase with some V, violets. I have no use for violets in a vase. How about a V, vacuum? Hey, watch where you point that thing. There go the violets. Whoa, turn that vacuum off. Oh, no. There go the vegetables. I thought that was valuable. Would you get rid of that thing? But the vacuum really doesn't vacuum, sir. You will have nothing left that starts with the letter V. I already have something that begins with the letter V. Okay. I have a V. V. Vest. Ah, the vacuum stopped. Thank you for your help, sir. Now, if you will excuse me, I will just take my letter V and Vamoose. I need a vacation.
that I would catch a foul ball. Have I caught one? No, because each time a ball comes near me, you jump on top of me, sir. Listen, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your hot dogs, and you're going to get as far away from me as possible. Why? So just in case another ball is hit to me, sir. Listen, just in case another ball is hit to me, maybe, I said, just maybe I can... Hi, I'm here to take some swimming lessons. Okay, the swimming instructor will be right with you. Hello sir, it is me Grover, your swimming instructor. Oh no, it's you again. Can I have a different instructor? No, no, no sir. I'm the only instructor that is available. <sighs> ah, the water feels good. What should we do next? You will learn how to swim. Wait, someone is calling me. Okay, I will just swim. Help, help, help. You, you let me drown in that pool. I'm sorry sir, someone called me. Okay, now let's go back to the pool and continue the lesson. Oh wait, someone calling me again. Help, help, help. You, you are the worst swimming instructor, Grover, and I'm not coming back here again. You aren't supposed to go to the deep water, sir. I do not think he is cut out for the swimming lessons. <laughs>